Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu friends welcome back to my channel in this video we will discuss the difference between CD4017 and CD4024 these two are different counters one of my viewer he asked me what is the difference between this IC and this IC in my last video I assembled this CD4017 in this shape and I got a question from one of another viewer. He asked me to build this project on a breadboard. So we connected all the connections as I mentioned in my last video. LED number 1 is going to pin number 3, 2 is going to pin number 2. Next LED pin number 4, 7, 10, 1, 5, 6, 9 and 10 number pins of the IC. So in this sequence it will work like this. At each pulse, the output will shuffle to the next register. So it is 10 stage. And if we see its timing diagram, these are the clock pulses, the input pulses. If the reset is low and clock enable is low, then at first pulse, the output number 0 will high. At next pulse, output number 2 will high, 3. So at a time one pulse remain high and it will keep moving to the next higher stage at each pulse in the input. If you are interested to make this project you can follow video number 480 or 472 because it have 10 bits, 10 outputs Q0 to Q9. So it have 10 outputs. After 10th pulse the sequence will start from, from output number 0. This is output number 9. When output number 9 or the last most pin will go low, the next pulse will switch down. After last pulse, the system will restart again from this point. This is the function of CD4017. It is decayed counter and it will divide the frequency by 10. After each 10 pulses, the cycle will start from here. If we want to minimize the cycle, up to any stage in that case we will connect the reset pin to that output for example we want to terminate the operation at output number 5 so output number 6 will connect it to reset so when the 5 cycles will complete 5 points with digits will complete 6th pulse will reset this circuit and it will start from 0 now if we see this CD4024 it is binary counter. We are using decimal system in our routine life. Decimal system is from 0 to 9. After 9, we will use combination 1, 0, then 1, 1. We are making combinations from these digits and we will make counting and we will write and we can say. So here, output. In output side, it is binary counter. In binary there are just two words 0 or 1. All the digital electronics works on only two stages 0 or 1. In logic ICs, in digital ICs, in computer language we can say there are just only two levels 0 or 1. Either that is 0 volt or maybe it is 5 volt or some logic level high. If you see the structure of this IC it is master slave configuration registers in master slave we receive input at input terminal then it will process it and it will apply to first register all the outputs will remain low when the input pulse will come to trailing edge pulse go high this is called rising edge it is high when this pulse will come down to ground level it will start moving it will reach at zero it is called trailing edge at this point the cycle is changing from positive peak to negative peak because here are just only two levels so it is called the trailing edge trailing edge the flip-flop will switch and it, its output will go high when it will go high the output of this first stage is input for the next stage, stage number 2. When this pulse at pin number 1 
will go trailing edge because it have to monitor the input when the input will move from high to low trailing edge the second will also switch on so it have to wait to change its output on the input trailing edge first input for the first stage the output of stage number 1 is input for the stage number 2 then the output of stage number 2 is input for the stage number 3 so on in this configuration each flip flop have to check its input when it will become down trailing edge it will switch its output it is flip flop either it is q1 or q bar output so it will shift its output so in truth table we say at pin number 1 the led number 1 will turn on the output will high actually these leds for demonstration basically it is widely used in electronic circuits to divide frequency to count the time second pulse all outputs will zero just only output number 2 will go high and then the next pulse is zero one zero at each stage the first stage is just only maximum decimal equal value is one second stage two third stage its value is four its value is four numbers equal to digital number eight sixteen thirty two sixty four so we can check timing diagram in timing diagram we have here we have input the first line that is input pulses clock pulses this is output number 1 output number 2 these are input clock pulses at each trailing edge the next flip flop will switch to high if we look here the first clock pulse when it is coming high to low the first output is high and it will remain high until the input of flip flop will go low when this is coming low again trailing edge it will change its position it is a very basic rule when any input of any stage when any input will go at trailing edge the output will shift if it is high it will become low if it is low it will become high so because it is in cascaded stage so it is working as a master slave operation let's see this timing pulse timing diagram when the first trailing edge is coming of this first pulse so it will go high and it will remain high until the next trailing edge if you look here at first trailing edge at first trailing edge first output shifted low to high at second trailing edge from here it is rising and then it is coming back so it shifted its position when it is coming low it is at its trailing edge the next output will go high so each stage will wait until its input and each stage input is output of the first stage each trailing edge will cause to switch the output if you see this point here it is zero because it is low this one is zero this one is zero this one is zero and this one is high so it is 1 0 0 0 0 0 so it must be 16 number if you see here 1 0 0 0 0 so it should be input number 16 after 16 pulses this condition will become here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so after this trailing edge of pulse number 16 so output will in this format after 127 pulses it will reset again our this circuit is resetting after each 10 pulses but this circuit will reset after 127 pulses in this timing sequence each trailing edge of the first input will switch its output and this output will cause to switch this one this is 
responsible to switch this one this to next each higher assembly will slaved from the first input so it is q1 q2 q3 q4 q5 q6 q7 each input side is the master the second is slave slave have to wait have to uh, wait for the order what is the order when its output will go from high to low the second will shift its position if it was high it will become low if it was low it will become high any stage in this ic will wait for its master position if it is number 7 it will wait for the output of pin number 6 when pin number 6 will go high to low it will change its position and if you want to make a square wave generator using cd 4049 ic you can follow the video number 457 on my channel i hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question kindly let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh